We got a good one today. We have one of the best screen mirroring projects in existence. It's called SCR CPY, or Screen Copy But Shorthand. And it's completely open source and free. So, man, I love covering these types of projects, especially when they're better than the paid counterpart. And that is totally today's video because I've paid between $20 and $100 for multiple screen mirroring uh, softwares in the past, and most of them, no, nay, all of them sucked. And uh, this project blows them out of the water because we can do wireless, we can do wired, we get to choose everything, and it's super simplistic to install. So let's go over everything right now, not waste any more time and get on the desktop or actually the phone screen. Before we get into the video, I do live stream over on Twitch both Monday and Friday. Uh, so if you'd like to ask a question, head over there, ask me live, or you can check out all the archives of all my past streams over on Chris Titus Tech Streams. The links are in the description. So with that, let's get into our video. So this right here is the actual GitHub project. It's SCR CPY, absolutely amazing. It's made by Ginny Mobile, a uh, great, great guy for open sourcing this project and making it amazing. If you're old school Windows, you can go to releases tab, grab the zip file here, extract it out, run the executable. But let's go over the actual usage and syntax. For us Linux users, it's a little easier. Just apt install scr cpy. It's in the official repository, so you don't even need to add anything. It's literally just one line in your terminal and you're done. Um, but either way, uh, all of that works. And if you're an Arch user, it's in the AUR as well. So here it is, it just gives everything. Uh, best part about this as well, you don't even need to unlock it prior to actually doing it. So once you get that initial sync done, you're pretty much set. So let's go ahead and log into this thing. Uh, some stuff I wanna go over as far as what it's capable of. Um, very good performance. I'm able to play videos through here and they come through buttery smooth, low latency, low startup time, and not intrusive, no ads, none of that BS. It's just amazing. Ah, uh, Keith. I'm making a video, man. I don't need the okay. Ugh. Anyways, VPN issues at work. But uh, regardless, uh, with this, we should be able to just simply launch it. I've already done the APT install SCRCPY, but you can do it on Windows the same way using Chocolatey or just doing it like I told you through the releases tab. There is an option to basically change the bitrate to make it a little bit easier. So if you have kind of shoddy Wi-Fi and you want to use the Wi-Fi section, you have all the control is yours. You can make the bit rate lower so you can actually use a shoddy Wi-Fi signal to actually remote into this thing if you wanted. That's amazing, I, I can't believe it. It goes over the actual setting the screen size, the bit rate, the frame rate, uh, cropping it. You can do specific recording outputs from here so it'll actually just record only the screen and output it to MP4 format so it's great for adding to videos. Uh, here's the wireless setup. You can easily just do these options from command prompt if you're on Windows, or if you're in Linux, obviously you can just add those to the terminal. Totally amazing. So with all that said, let's actually launch it and get into my phone, which since I've been talking, it's obviously gone to sleep back there. So let's see what we get when we just type SCR CPY. Let's just launch it and see how it looks. All right, so we got that. There's uh, everything I need. I'm gonna type my password in, passwords in, and here we are on my screen. This is actually my phone. Uh, I know, don't judge. Don't judge all my apps and the fact I have this really expensive coffee drinks on occasion. Uh, but not lately, that's for sure. Uh, so with that, let's see what YouTube looks like because I think that's probably a good example. We have this already pulled up. Get more comfortable with Linux than Windows or Mac. Uh, we'll hit play. And that's kind of cool. That's amazing. So it's all right there. It actually, all the audio still comes from back there because I didn't do those options. Now, if I did an option to output everything to MP4, uh, I would be able to pull in the sound and everything to it. So if you're doing gameplay and those types of things, uh, definitely do like a custom widescreen turned rotated one with an output to like MP4 is probably recommended. But for this video, I just want to show how powerful this is. Uh, but let's say you're having problems in the actual setup we're not quite done with yet. Uh, so let's go ahead and show you what I've done as far as the setup. We'll go down, and from here, let's just go ahead and pull down to the cog, 
And from here, scroll all the way down to the bottom, hit about this phone, scroll all the way down to the it, and build number, just double click this about 10 to 15 times. It, every phone's a little different, but it'll tell you how many clicks you need. And it says, you're now a developer. So once you got developer status, then from settings or system, we'll be able to actually go into developer options and enable what we're doing right now. So you become a developer from system settings. You just go system and then go to advanced and then go to developer options. From developer options, obviously they're on now that we've done that. Scroll down to AD or USB debugging. This is also known as ADB debugging in older versions, uh, but just make sure this is ticked on. And that's it. That's all you need to do. Developer options with USB debugging. And we're set. This project's pretty much finished. Uh, as you have Wi-Fi, you can do Wi-Fi, you can do wired, you can do custom resolutions, you can do custom frame rates. It's amazing, absolutely amazing. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Uh, one of the best open source projects I've found. Uh, if you're interested in other open source projects I've covered that are beat the paid counterparts and stuff, check out what I did for PlayStation 4 Remote Play. I'll link that video up top as well as uh, I think it was Chikari, uh, something like that. And uh, it was a great open source project I now use to remote play my PlayStation 4 from my box here as well. So. Absolutely amazing, uh, great project. Uh, but with that, again, let me know your thoughts down below. And a big shout out to all my patrons. Without you, I couldn't make videos like this one. And I'll see you in the next one.